Yeah, it's probably locked. Let me check what's out here, make sure it's clear, and I'll come back and I'll tell you. Holy shit. What the hell is this? Oh my god, it's, 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 it's you! I know it's me! I know it's the jump room, but how am I? Wait, it's not just... Uh, maybe... What's going on? Maybe it's the multi-universe! There's such thing as the multi-universe! This is some Marvel comic book stuff. The phone's ringing, phone's ringing! Yeah, yeah, I hear it. Now, Junkman, it's time for the next challenge. You have been really toxic to a lot of people on the internet, and it's time you face your fear. Yeah, I didn't do it. No excuses. No. I'm, gonna I'm just a misunderstood guy. I'm just trying to have a little fun on the internet and people get upset. That's no excuse. You have broke ten of the sacred rules that you okay. cannot break on okay. the internet. You have been toxic. You have slut shamed. You've been homophobic. You've been special needs phobic. You've been regional phobic. You've been body shaming. You've been gatekeeping. You've been racist. You've been transphobic. And you've been a toxic white male who hates female Star Wars fans. That's all. Uh, I told you your buffoonery would get us all killed. I didn't do it. He did it. He did it all. I, I even tried to warn people. Remember, I did cancel the Junkman video. Hush, you're a bit of an enabler. You're just as bad as Junkman. And now, Junkman, you must face those that you've wronged, those that you've made fun of, those that you have teased, and explain yourself, and hopefully apologize. You will be shown a YouTuber that you have hurt their feelings, made them sad, made them cry, and talk bad about them on the internet. And you will explain yourself. I'm not, I'm not ready to touch this one yet. I'm not ready. Can we come back to it? Can we come back to it, please? We will come back to that one. You can't escape any of these. Let's take a look at Game Chasers. Game Chasers? I like the Game Chasers. What are you talking about? I've never done anything bad to the Game Chasers. You talked about them in one of your videos, although you had a nice thing to say. But one of the people commented in your comment section said they were ass clowns and you liked the comment. Being toxic by liking. So someone called them ass clowns and I liked the comment. What's the big deal? I, I like all my comments on every video. Go through it. Every video, I like every comment. Sometimes I'm taking a poop and I'm just going through it. I don't read them all. You know, I kind of just glance at them. This is just my way of saying, hey, I see you. I know you're out there. I know you're watching. Thanks for watching. You gonna hold that against me? Nah, I told you liking all those comments was gonna come back to get us. Oh. Now, let's take a look at the YouTuber that calls himself X-Wing. X-Wing's a great guy! What have I ever done bad to X-Wing? You said that mustache made him look like an ass-eater porn star from the 70s. That's slut-shaming. <laughs> yeah, I, I did say that about X-Wing. You got me on that one. That was kind of funny. He does kind of look like that. He does. And I'm sure, I'm sure X-Wing doesn't, doesn't, he probably agrees with me. I, I can't apologize for that one. Now, for one of the YouTube gods, John Campia. Now, I know everybody else gives John Campia hell, but I don't. I don't, I like this guy. Larry, you know I like him. I don't know if liking is the word I would use. Mmm, you put up with him, maybe? Your friend Russ said you look like a lesbian Canadian hedgehog. That's homophobic. Oh, come on, you're gonna hold me to something my friend says? I... He said it, not me. Sure, I laughed at the comment. I thought it was kind of funny, but I didn't say it. I like John Campion. Sort of. He seems like he can be kind of a snob, but I like him. Watch him, at least. Still, it's homophobic by association. Let's move on to Doomcock. Okay, Doomcock. You got me on that one, mysterious man on the phone. Doomcock, you got me on that one, but... It's not my fault. It makes up news. You call his leaks made up news from a waterhead cousin. That's special needs phobic. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's a fault. Didn't even have an excuse for that one. So let's get back to this one. No, I can't do the purple lady. I can't do the purple hair lady right now. I just can't. Please, I can't. Come back to it. You can't avoid it, junk man. But we'll move on to Echo Base. Echo Base? Echo Base is my friends. I've never done anything or said anything bad about Echo Base. Coach, Nick, they're the greatest Star Wars content on YouTube. You said Coach couldn't coach Nick on how to make a love to a Swedish immigrant. That's regional phobic. I mean, he's a coach. 
I think he's just better at, other, at coaching other things than coaching that. Let's move on to the one that you refer to as Analog Toys, but his name is Analog Toys, I think. Oh, now you're hitting below the belt. It's not fair. Not fair. He got to say me first. Oh. Why should call this guy G.I. Joe want to be pansy that look like Mr. Clean with AIDS? That's body shaming. This is the best you can find that I said about this guy? Have you even looked to see what he said about me? Docks me, says he's gonna beat me up and all this other stuff, and I have to feel sorry that I said something bad about him? I can't do it. Well, let's see if you can talk your way out of this one. Jenner Custom Toys. Now, I know there's nothing, nothing I've ever said about Jenner Custom Toys. This guy's one of the best. I don't, I've never, ever. Oh, yeah. This guy's been very nice to you, and what happened? He opened his own yak face that he paid his own money for, and you got upset. That's called gatekeeping. Oh, the yak face video. Everybody without purple hair knows that it was it was a joke. I mean, Jenner's a friend. He made it. I reacted to it. It was a big goof. I didn't really open a vintage yak face. It was all just a joke. Jokes are only jokes when they're nice and sweet. Let's move on to Drunk 3PO. Gina Carano's boyfriend? Drunk Prepio? Come on, come on! There's no... That's not my fault. In one of his live streams, you said a joke. Oh. Yeah, I said the Batman joke. You said, what's the difference between a black man and Batman? Batman can go out at night while Robin. That's just racist. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know in this day and age, everybody's so sensitive. You can't make jokes anymore. I'm sorry. That's not funny at all. Ah, this guy, the wannabe gatekeeper of the internet? It's not fair. It's not fair. Okay. What did I do? You said he looks like he wears tween girl panties while ducking his toy collection. That's transphobic. Well, it looks like that, don't he? I mean, honestly, he looks like he, he looks like it. Okay, Chuck Man. Now it's time. Purple hair lady. Purple hair lady. I've upset a lot of people on the internet and... Nothing has brought me as much toxic hatred as doing an overtop reaction to this girl's cringy video. Oh. Let's get this one over with. Do I even have to tell you what you did? You made a video watching her cringy video, making fun of it, when she got some toys that you would never want to get, that you don't even like, and you made fun of her. That's being a toxic wife male. Made one video making fun of a cringy video with something everyone does on the internet. And now I'm a toxic white male that hates the Disney era of Star Wars. I don't even know how that got roped into all this after I defended Disney Star Wars fans and Kathleen Kennedy and the Disney movies. But now I'm a toxic white male because I dare make fun of a female. Uh, hey, you get equal rights in the junk room. And yeah, I made videos about beating up kids in the face. Doesn't mean I really want to beat him up or I think anything about him. And she made it all sexism. I didn't say anything in the video about her being a girl or she couldn't collect Star Wars or she couldn't like Star Wars or she shouldn't like Star Wars. I didn't say anything like that. She just took one video, twisted it around so she could play the victim card and get a lot of followers and everything. Get everybody to feel sorry for her. And the odds queens can come attack me on social media, over Twitter, over TikTok, over Instagram, over YouTube, everywhere I'm at. There they are. I, this is the out of everyone I've ever made fun of. Anything, this, her fan base is the worst I've ever come across, and I've had the Doomcock fans after me. I've had the Phantom Menace fans after me. I've had the Toy Guys after me. I have everybody at me, and I've never seen such a rich of hive of scum and villainy as her fan base. They're the most rudest, meanest people I've ever interacted with. They were picking on the handicap, for God's sake. I guess. I mean, I'm kind of handicapped. You know, I can't hardly spell or write or talk, so we're making fun of that. I can't. I can't do this. I just... I can't. I can't. I said there was no such thing as toxic Star Wars fans. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She opened my eyes. There's a lot of toxic Star Wars fans, and I know who they are now. I know who they are, and it's not the boys of Star Wars. Oh, my God. Are we done? We have decided to let you pass, but we will be watching you. But we're 
I'm not going to make it so easy that you, you return to the jump room. As you can see, right there in front of you is the jump room. You just have to make it to it, or you may end up somewhere else. <laughs> I can do this, Larry. I can do this. Well, don't forget me. You're not jumping through that without me. Okay, I'll get you. Thank you. Thank you. Larry, you're not even tied up. You're not even tied up. I need both of my hands, Larry. Why, why you didn't want to do a lot of things? Sorry about that. Hmm. Oh, this isn't some kind of evil joke. Hey, jump man <laughs> channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>